Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm going to talk about the life and sad ending of the actress Suzanne Douglas. Suzanne Douglas just recently passed away. And I thought she was multi-talented. I thought she was one of the most talented black women in the history of the entertainment industry. She could dance, she could sing, she could act. There was nothing she couldn't do. She was multi-talented, and I thought she was very underrated. Now, she's mostly known for playing the mother in The Parenthood. This was a show that was on the air from 1995 to 1999. It was on the air for about five years, and I thought the show was very similar to The Cosby Show. It was clean, family fun, and I thought that was a positive black show that was needed at the time. And we need more shows like that today. And she's also known for playing in Jason's Lyric, where she also played a mother. But my favorite movie with Suzanne Douglas was in Tap, which starred Gregory Hines in her. And this was one of my favorite movies of all time. I love the acting. I love the dancing. I thought the chemistry between Suzanne and Gregory Hines was amazing. I thought they were a real couple, but she was actually married during the time of this production. And her acting performance overall was Oscar worthy, even though she never was nominated. And this was her first acting role. For this to be her first major acting role, she nailed it. She was also a successful stage actress. During the early 2000s, she played Jenny Diver in the Three Penny Opera. And she won a Tony Award for this performance. So this woman was multi-talented. She could sing, she could act, she could dance. Suzanne's last major acting performance was in the Netflix miniseries, When They See Us, where she plays the role of Grace Coffey. And this series got a lot of attention. It uh, was during the height of the police brutality protests. But during the production of this miniseries, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly forms of cancer. Most people that get it usually pass away within two to three years. And she was diagnosed in 2019. And two years later, on July 6, 2021, she passed away at 64 years old. And one of her last messages on Facebook is she thanks all her fans and she told everybody to be thankful for life. Don't take life for granted because she knew she was gonna pass away. I thought what was amazing about Suzanne is that she always had a smile on her face. Even at the end of her life, she always had a smile on her face. You can't find one picture of her where she's not smiling. And she had the most beautiful smile. I hope she's enjoying heaven and resting in peace. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show one of her last singing performances. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Picture me upon your knee, T for two and two for T. Can't you see how happy we would be? Nobody near us to see us or hear us. No friends or relations for weekend vacations. We won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone. Dear, day will break and I'll awake and start to bake a sugar cake for you to take for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a boy for you and a girl for me. Can't you see how happy we would be? Oh, pour a cup and pass the cream, but don't forget to sweeten it a bit before you go. Pour it in a cup, now let it sit, now take a sip. Tastes good when you're steeped it nice and slow. It is not the Darjeeling that somehow will make me sing. Boy, boss, green tea, black tea, pico, steep and slow. Ooh, long ginger, show, chung, or mo, brew and low. Oh, see the steam arising up from the tea. 
Skippy, come on, take a sip. There's no one here who will see it dripping. Whoa, careful you don't fill the cup with too much tea. A top of the rim, it seems to flow. Gonna take a taste, nothing. It's time for tea for two. A quarter to two, it's time for tea. Come now, take a taste now. Sugar, milk, and lemon, honey, cookies, cakes are all so yummy. Here we are, so nice and cozy. Sipping tea, our cheeks get rosy. Just tea for two, and two for tea. Just me for you, and let's drink to you and me.